right, so today's kind of an exciting day because um, two more of the team members arrived yesterday later in the afternoon. So almost the entire team is here and they've split into groups and we will ask Elian more about kind of like the structure. Oh yeah, the uh, interesting is the last time I talked about the market, the cryptocurrency market, it was pretty much going straight up. And in the last probably day and a half, the entire cryptocurrency market is in the red. It's very volatile, so it just kind of does this up and down. But right now, Bitcoin has actually dropped back below 2,000. And Ethereum, those are the two main ones, Ethereum and Bitcoin, that pre pretty much everybody judges the market by. Ethereum is down, was went all the way down to 130 from a high of over 200. So right now, everything's kind of going down. Everybody's been talking about this bubble. Well, we just had a power out because uh, kind of a big rainstorm coming through, so we're on battery backup right now. How long does that battery last? How long is that? Really, a couple hours. A couple hours. When it's new, probably up to four, four hours. Can you explain a little bit, kind of, the idea behind the teams and? So I think I think the main uh, objective is that we have s small, smart teams. That's the most um, effective way of getting results. Um, larger teams often that leads to, you know, distraction, also and too many opinions. Like there's a saying about cooking, too many cooks. And then kind of regroup and every once in a while let in more opinions, but at, at very precise moments of time. Uh, we have the green team. They, they work on the core. The guys were building the, the blockchain technology, all of that. Um, they're they're at, the, at the, the big house. And then we have the UI, UX team. Um, those guys are in the guest house over there. And then up here will be the red team. The red team are the ones who are going to try and break everything. I'm kind of the operations guy. I make sure everything just, whatever needs to happen, happens. And then Amy is going to help also the UI and UX team. She's working on FAQs right now. Bring, she's the younger generation. She's the Venmo generation. She uses online payment tools a lot. Um, she's a, a female. We'd love to also have the female opinion. I'd like to interview you, Philip, and Robin, or do a talk where we actually talk about what, like what it is. Down into what the is beef. it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that could start to come out tomorrow. Yeah. Because yeah. we haven't quite answered that question. What That's exactly true, yeah. is it? Right now we're doing? kind of beating around the bush. <laughs> yeah, totally. because, you know, I mean, part of the, part of the thing that, that we do have a breakthrough technology and it's worldwide the, the unique and the first ones. Uh, to implement it, you know, we don't need to create this whole long build-up. Um, we're gonna kind of launch with a bang, and that's why we're kind of documenting this and ready to release it when we're ready to release it. So, take it the internet wasn't working as well over there. Huh? Where? At, at the house. Yeah, no, I it's working, but it's Not very it's slow. So you, it's better to be here. For so some things that we have to do, we need more benders, so we come here. And also the the coffee is here, great. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you got you got a view. You're closer to the food and the coffee. That's, that's that uh -huh. would be important to me for sure. And you know, we're all about efficiency, <laughs> like keeping distances short. You know. Uh huh. <laughs> I took it out because you were, you were kind of like, but I, I, I left you your explanation. So you think that for sure, um, having having hackers work in this environment makes you guys more productive? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's way more focused and it's way more better life quality in the end. Like if you, if you work in an office and you just got a small window and no sunlight all day, it's a huge difference to here where you just walk, work almost in the jungle. So I finished my previous task. Right now I'm in a little bit in the idle because I have to wait until the um, founder team um, where the design team finishes the design so I can develop it because I'm also going to be in the UX team, UI team. Well, what we're doing right now essentially wasn't really possible um, two years ago, maybe just one year ago even. Uh, well, I'm basically doing a test for our code. That's really important, right? Um, because uh, everything we do needs to be tested, uh, not only to make sure that the functionality right now is working, but also because that's going to be run uh, every time we change stuff. So we know it's working now, but if you don't have tests and then somebody comes along and needs to change something or even yourself, like two weeks from now and you won't remember what you were working right now, you may break something. 
So uh, we always do the code and then we have tests to test the code and we run them repeatedly after each change we, uh, we do to the code base. Actually, I don't know if you should post us talking about JavaScript because I think this is part of the secret, the big wow that it's gonna run in the browser. And you know JavaScript <coughs> is the browser's language, so yeah. when somebody, somebody hears um, JavaScript, you will already know that it is um, for the browser. And I think this is, should be the surprise. But I think we've all decided to wait mm -hmm. until either the testnet, mm -hmm. okay. which I think releases everything anyways because everybody's yeah. going to have access to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. The course will be so. added, the code will be open source anyway. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you guys. I'm going to yeah. head back to yes, coding. Yes, get back to work. Yeah. Well, I was saying that, you know, we, I, bought, I just bought all the whiteboards this little townhouse software. We have, we have them all, all three of them. What's that in your hand there? It's just whiskey. <laughs> no, actually, it's coffee. So this is ice, and I'm going to show you our ice crusher here. Beautiful crushed ice. Okay, so the what we started with last night is that we are, we are setting up uh, tools to help us write better code. So we basically introduced uh, tools into our build into, into our tool chain that will catch a lot of bugs. So um, I mean we are, we are using uh, JavaScript, but we are using like the modern um, variants of JavaScript. Uh, so we're using ECMAScript 7, we're even, even using some of the stuff from ECMAScript 8, which is basically not ready yet. Uh, but uh, one tool that we are now using is called ESLint, which will which basically can, you know, it will basically do static analysis on our code, and it will, it will alert us to things that, it, that look fishy. And then there's the attack team. Mm -hmm. So you're not on the attack team. I'm not on the attack team. I'm on the defend, defending, on the defense, defensive team, basically. So when do they start attacking you guys, or when do they start trying to break the? I think they're already already working on it. Yeah. So I mean they're already reporting issues and security security bugs, uh, which they found, and we are also we are we ourselves are working on you know increasing the test coverage and finding these bugs ourselves. So when they start reporting stuff, does that go straight to you guys, or yeah. do you wait? Do you wait a day, or how does that work? So basically, they just you know, create a new issue in our issue tracking system, and we'll look at it when we have time, basically. Right. right. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's how it works. Hi, Design team. Come in. All right. Yeah. I, you guys got some style over here, man. You get the music. I like the lighting. <laughs> Sweet. We're uh, designing the mobile experience of our first view of the landing page. So the, the, the very first thing that everyone sees as soon as you click on a, on a link on yeah. Product Hunt or Hacker News. If you enter Nimic.com, this is what you're going to see. Anything else going on? It's kind of educating you, like, um, it's all about syncing with the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So you connect to the blockchain by hitting that button. And then it tells you what it does. It connects you to peers, and then it downloads the blockchain, generates you new keys, and then you receive some test coins. So you can so run sending them to your friends. Right at the beginning, we will tell people to connect to the blockchain, which hasn't been possible before. It is the best logo to stop the discussions about the logo. If we deliver really good technology and really good engineering, the logo is not that important. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can even talk to the camera and be like, I just want you guys to know. Like, you need to say whatever's on your mind. Yeah. Whatever's on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is empty. <laughs> well, especially at nighttime when you have the light. It's the only way, you know, like in the daytime. I'm, I'm quite happy for the light now because it's so dark here. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, my my laptop doesn't have um, light keyboard. The keyboard, yeah. I really need to get a new one. How powerful of a computer do you need for uh, for your kind of work? Um, I mean, I'm working with source code, so... But yeah, I'm not doing computational heavy stuff like video editing, so if it's really just hacking code, then, yeah, you don't need that much computing power. Yeah. That looks pretty complex. 
<laughs> so, what languages can you code in? Um, well, I started with um, something similar to C. Um, then Pascal and Java was the main language at university. I also had um, C++. I wrote my bachelor's thesis in C++. Um, what else? C Sharp I, I used in a project. Um, now I'm for two or three years working a lot with JavaScript. So that would right now probably be my main language. The town that you're from? Zadui. It's close to where I live now in Germany, the Brücken. Uh -huh. okay. It's in the same state. And your nationality? You look like you could be mi mixed. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm half German, half Japanese. My mom is from Japan. And now I'm gonna right. go on working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just to let you guys know what's going on. So now it is nighttime, and I think nighttime is when all the most of the programmers seem to like it's like easier to concentrate and I guess like really get into it so I'm gonna go around see if I can get some shots of anyone who I can try to spy on kind of like get a quick shot and film them a little bit without them noticing and without like distracting them Shh. finished um, ninjally sneaking around getting just a few quick shots now I'm out of there no one noticed I was there okay. I totally fundamental value yes. It's distracting that First mock up there for the person getting that closer. We just participating. Okay. No incentive to, to scroll. I'm not uh, feeling it like I buy it. But I know. But the spying is here, genau um drüber. That's delicious. I'm saying, I'm sure they'll understand the hash within moments, but still you're jumping to another idea so quickly, another feature so quickly, it, it doesn't give someone the time to be like, this is cool, and digest it.